What's going on? We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Kel Brook is acting like a scorned baby mama. Okay. A scorned woman. You know, a thirsty woman. Thirsty, whatever you want to call him. All right. When it comes to this mere conjunct, bro, this dude said that uh, I'm not going to be here after, you know, uh, you know, Crawford basically whoops on Amir Khan. And before that, he says, I'll do anything. I'll go to 147. I accept this rehydration clause. It's like we know why uh, Kill Brook is, is so thirsty and so, um, you know, want to fight uh, Amir Khan so, so badly. It's because he don't have no chance at 154. Okay. He said it before. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm big enough to go to 154. I already do some catch weights with some guys. At the end of the day, bro, that was a title limit. That was a title eliminator for uh, Jer Hurd. Um, one of Jer Hurd's built. Let me tell you this: Kill Brook would never take the Jer Hurd fight. All right, not uh, not how Hurd is fighting right now. Okay, he don't want Errol Spence. He don't want Keith Thurman. He don't want Sean Porter. Only fight he won is Amir Khan because it's the most lucrative fight and it's a winnable fight. He can't beat nobody else, okay? He can't beat no players at 47. He can't beat no players at 154 pounds. I didn't see his last fight, but I already know he ain't shit, okay? Seriously. I already know. I already know. I already know what, what, the, what the deal is with him. He won Amir Khan so bad because he can't beat nobody else. And I'm not saying Amir Khan could beat anybody else neither. I don't think Amir Khan could be Bud. I don't think he'd be Earl. I don't think he'd be Keith. I don't think he could be Sean. But guess what? Amir Khan still got options. Amir Khan still can make 147 pounds comfortably. Amir Khan is still a name because he established himself as a name in the United States and the United Kingdom. So worst case scenario, he can go back to the UK and still make money. Fight on free TV and break records. Kell Brook never established his name in the United States. He never did. He fought Carson Jones and he fought Sean Porter, but he didn't establish his name. So guess what? He has no other options. Crawford ain't looking at Kell Brook because you know why? Don't nobody in the United States know who Kell Brook is. He didn't establish his name over there. While Amir Khan had fought Zab Judah, he fought Marcus Madonna, um, he's fought uh, uh, Chris Algieri, he's fought um, Lamont Peterson. He fought a lot of different names over the United States. He won titles. You know, he had spats with Timothy Bradley. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, he's established himself as a hundred and as a as a viable 140 pound, 147 pound fire the United States to be able to say, okay, Crawford said I'll give you five million guaranteed with top rank to come fight over here on pay-per-view. Because he's a name. And Kell Brook let Eddie Hearn destroy his legacy. He let Eddie Hearn destroy his name. Okay? He did. When Kell Brook could have just easily had Top Rank set a fight up for Kell Brook versus Jesse Vargas, a, a, a unification clash at 47. Instead of dragging Vargas to the UK, fight the United States. Establish your name here. Now, since all them years you did bum bash in the UK and in Sheffield, you didn't establish your name in the United States. You're not a name over here. So you won't get a five million dollar five million dollar guarantee or a pay per view offer to fight Terrence Crawford, or Sean Porter, Errol Spence, Keith Thurman won't be looking to fight you in the United States because don't nobody really know who you are over here. So now he got a lust, well damn near lust, and salivate and beg another man to kill Brook. I mean American. You know that's one thing as a man you never want to be in, in a position to beg a man for nothing. And at the end of the day, he don't have nobody to blame but himself and Eddie Hearn. Because he didn't establish himself over in the United States. And now, on the back end, it's hurting him. Now he, now he hurt. Now he got to now he got to legitimately beg Amir Khan to do this. Now, Barry and Eddie Hearn got to over got to overcompensate Amir Khan. They got to find more money to pay Amir Khan. They got to find, uh, Kell Brook got to sacrifice more money to fight Amir Khan. At the end of the day, Kell Brook can do all of this and still go in there and possibly lose to Amir Khan. And have no legacy. A guy who career, who career turned on a dime when he made a piss poor decision not to unify his IBF belt with his WBO belt. But he made a piss poor decision to go fight Triple G. And his career pretty much ended that night. 
That's going to be his legacy. He don't have a legacy in the United States. If he loses to Amir Khan, he's going to be a forgotten fighter in, in the UK. Okay? He's going to be the biggest what if or what, what should have been as far as from a career move standpoint. So that's why he like a scoring baby mama. That's why he's lusting. That's why he 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 really, you know, really to give it all up for Amir Khan. Because he don't have no other options as a fighter. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you check us out on Facebook. Make sure you check us out on Twitter. You can email me as well. Intro instrumental in, uh, link is in the description as well. Want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description as well. Appreciate everybody that do donate. Make sure you check out our playlist. Going to be updating them real soon if I haven't already updated them by the time this video drop. And um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit, hit the bell icon button. We do a lot of uh, different topics in sports and you know current event topics on this channel. But y'all know what the business is. We go.